What's up everybody? Don't mind that box. It's a chair I've been building, meaning to build for, I don't know, a solid few months now. No big deal. So I thought I would take you guys along with me today because my day is crazy. I've got a photo shoot with my friend Crush It who has shot me before. Very good at what he does he makes me look great every time even with all my awkwardness and poses and bleh, all that so I'm shooting with him then I have to rush back home from the city and get on a call with a company that I'm working with on a project that's coming up launching soon then I've got to go to work it's a busy day I thought I would try to revive this blog by bringing you guys with me so that's good Okay, what's up guys? I should probably start by looking over at the lens. Anyways, I'm currently sitting on the New York City High Line, if you've never heard of it. It is an old railway that's a, like not underground, obviously. It's, it's like elevated above the streets. It has amazing views of the city. Anyways, getting some new publicity shots done, headshots, whatever you wanna call them. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So let's go, uh, let's go shoot. This is Crush It. That's not how you say his name, but that's how I say it. Because he crushes it every time. Oh, snap. Who that girl? Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're on our way to our final spot, which is the Flatiron Building. But these are some of the shots that we got so far. Over 100. Over 100. I forgot about the yellow outfit. <laughs> there you go. Oh, my hair looks so pretty. Um, what would you grade me? so far on my posing. It was a rough start. Mm, <laughs> minus 10 out of 10. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I would grade you I just take 9 me a, It does take me a bit to get into it though. Yeah, at the beginning it starts slow, but eventually you, you just kill the shoot, dude. Like, Taking pictures is hard because you don't want to look fake, yes, right? But actually. then you want it to still be cool looking. Mm -hmm. So anyways, that's the struggle. That's the struggle that we have. Struggle of the models. But one more, one more. Mad respect to real models though. That shit is hard. Photo shoot's done. Now I am about to hop on a call with a company that I can't tell you who it is right now, but I will tell you in the coming weeks um, for a meeting to test out all of this fancy schmancy equipment that they sent me. Um, I can't really tell you what it's for at this point in time, but it's very exciting. I'm very pumped about it. And this is to sort of make sure that all the equipment works so that when this project finally launches by the end of the month, um, we'll be good to go. So I'm gonna go do that. Unfortunately, I can't bring you guys with me because it's top okay. secret. <laughs> Studio three? Studio three. I can't keep them straight, but we are in studio three doing updates tonight. Basically the update shift, you are kind of hopping in and out of games, doing updates, and you can't really prep for it because everything that you're doing is obviously reactionary to the games that are going on. So this is what studio three looks like. There's all of the games. Well, not all of them, but a good chunk of them. I did call Matt Carpenter a fire emoji. What I meant to say is that he's the human. I'm burping. Like, I'm, like, what is wrong with me? What I meant to call him was the human version of the fire emoji. Now I have the hiccups of what's happening. And this set over here is pretty cool because, you know, it's a baseball floor. Other people probably don't think that's as cool as I think it is, but I think it's really cool. Basically, I just sit here with my fleece blanket. The MLB Network Studio, especially Studio 3, is freezing. Tonight, it got so cold that some of the crew actually put batteries together for me because that like makes them electrically charged. I don't know, I'm not a scientist, but it they heat up and you can hold on to them. And that's how cold I was. I had to hang on to batteries just to stay warm, which is insane. It's freezing in here 
and wait for something cool to happen and then we do highlights and then I go back to my coffee and my stale almonds, they're stale. And he usually makes jokes, but now that we're on Snapchat, he's all quiet. Well, I'm not quiet, I just didn't know it was, you know. I didn't know it was your time to shine yeah, yet? No. <laughs> I didn't want you, you know, you're meant to get mad at me. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, what kind of face did you put on? Good one, at least? No, I didn't put a filter on you. It's all you. <laughs> living his best life all right so i am home now i didn't just get home from work but you know girls gotta eat so i made myself a snack and by snack i mean a black bean quinoa burger with kale chips so that's that it's now midnight but i'm not gonna go to bed yet because i'm hosting quick pitch tomorrow and quick pitch obviously is a late night show you got to wait for all the games to end so you don't usually leave the studio until like 2 in the morning so anytime I'm hosting quick pitch the night before I force myself to stay up till at least 2 30 so that tomorrow when I have to stay up and have energy and be fun and presentable and all that stuff and not look like a goblin I will handle it better so now even though I have a bit of a scratchy throat I'm kind of getting sick I am going to stay up for another two and a half hours to prep for tomorrow. Anyways, this vlog was a lot of just me talking, but whatever, at least it's back and I will hopefully be vlogging again tomorrow. Happy Friday, I hope it was lovely, goodbye. Turn right onto MLB Network Plaza. Your destination is on the right. Okay, so I am in my office. We just had our meeting talking about kind of like what on cams I'm doing and how the show is going to go. This is like my, um, my rundown sheet. Tells me everything that's going on in the show. The highlighted parts are the highlight packs that I'm doing. So the ones where I actually have to like VO the plays and do the whole thing. Um, so that'll be fun. There's no 10 o'clock games tonight, which means hopefully I will be out of here before 2 a.m. Also, it is approximately 9.04 p.m. and I already, I need a coffee. Need it, bad. But I promised myself I wasn't allowed to have coffee until I finished two bottles of water, which I did. So my reward is caffeine. So when I do quick pitch, um, I basically just wait for highlight packs to be done while sitting in my office getting bored drinking coffee. Um, so over here they have like folders of all the shows. Obviously that's not my show. This is the show that I'm doing. Oh, two packs. Sweet. Not my shows. Those are the other shows I'm just showing you for effect. And there's guys back there that I'll ask questions but they don't want to be on camera so I can't show you them. But they say hello. <laughs> Which is which one? Oh, okay. I don't know my banners yet. So I'm a diva and I'm, I'm requesting, I'm asking politely for the crew to let me see the shot so I can compare shoes before we start taping. So that's where we're at on a Saturday night. She's not a diva. He said, he said for those of you that couldn't hear, she's not a diva. But he didn't say it loudly, which means he only partially she's believes it. She's not a diva, it. not at all. <laughs> And now we're gonna have a vote on my footwear. All right, the winners are these shoes. Just because I didn't want to take them off. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Coming up on Quick Pitch, you might know that Matt Carpenter leads the NL in OPS or that he has six homers in his last seven games, but how deep does your Matt Carpenter knowledge go? We're gonna test you next. And it's a special night in San Francisco as the Giants retire Barry Bonds, number 25. We'll take you to the ceremony by the bay in just a bit. Pew, 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 pew. My goodness, what a long day. Um, I didn't really recap what went down, but it's like 
two thirty in the morning, and I'm just going to bed. But quick pitches in the books. I got quick pitch again tomorrow. I don't really feel that well. I think the white cheddar popcorn that I ate at about 1.15 a.m. probably wasn't a good idea. Anyways, that was my Saturday. It's time to go to sleep. <laughs>